<clears throat> Live again. What are the odds? One and two, I guess. Either you are or you're not. I uh, already had a pretty memorable memorable day live earlier with Red Pill Racing's box. We got that in. I already got those cars put away nicely, so we're not going to dig those out anymore. Was originally going to do this one, and then uh, this online auction I got between one and two years ago, probably closer to two than one. I don't, I guarantee you. Um, so we're going to do this tomorrow. We were going to do it this afternoon. Red Pill messaged me, said that his box was in. And uh, are there black walls in here? I I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I have not opened this. I mean, I opened it when I first got it. My guess would be just like everything else, probably a couple of years ago when I was just buying, buying, buying. Angela Gates, welcome. I don't think we have seen you in here before. Welcome to another Diecast Live experience, kind of like Scorpio, our, friend, our new friend Scorpio would say. Uh, yeah, BWHW, there could very well be black. I'm not going to even open it up. I haven't even cracked it. I know there's cars in there. Obviously, you can, you can hear them in there. Um, yeah, it's been tucked away for probably a couple of years. And uh, they're five plus. Uh, do you trade? Maybe we'll see. I mean, I I'm trying to get all my collection in order, and then from there, once I get everything in order, I think that's when I'm going to start uh, making them available. Um, not really a whole lot I need for trade right now. Just uh, it's uh, every what everybody's saying. That's my collection now. I mean, I'm I'm kind of steering away from this stuff. <laughs> no matter the condition. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. By trade, and it's going to be a black walls. You're the first guy I am going to look towards. Okay. I don't know. I, I know I looked through here. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I just glanced in there. I don't know. But knowing me and the way I was purchasing, especially a couple of years ago, who knows what's in here. I'm sure uh, whatever it was, it was bought for a good price because that's just how I roll. I don't, if I can't get it for a good price, then forget about it. But I love the case. This case is awesome. Uh, let's see, I know lots of folks like to keep five plus on my scale because I'm really harsh. Yeah, I yeah I used to be carded only collector for the almost in almost exclusively, and then now it's eh. I don't care. I don't even care what the cards look like. <laughs> I don't even care what the, the cast can have a flea bite or two, and it doesn't matter. Obviously, if you've watched King of the Misfits, so we're gonna open this one tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna say. I did. I put one ten. I put one ten for the opening today, and I was like at one thirteen. And I know I have to get gas after work tomorrow, so I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say about one twenty Pacific time tomorrow. We're gonna bust this one open and see what's in there. Looking forward to that. I haven't even been in there. Um, Get most of my black walls at a uh, local flea market for literally less than a dollar each for plenty of perfectly meant cars. Yes, I have found a few in the thrift stores, flea markets, black walls. I got some last year, actually. If I could get to the box, I'd probably show what's in there because it's still in the same box. Nice. Uh, yeah, you can you can sometimes get black walls for cheap. Obviously not going to be the best ones to race, but. Oh, yeah, you got to be able to haggle. I used to be, uh, when I was on sportscardform.com, uh, football, baseball cards, and doing a lot of that in the mid-2000s into the 2010s, whatever this decade's called. Uh, yeah, I used to do a lot of haggling. All right, we're going to bust it. Dude, I don't even know if this is diecast. I don't know. I'm going to assume it is because I, I don't really collect anything else or haven't in the last several years. I'm going to assume this is diecast, guys, though. So, I mean, I have no clue. It's six pounds according to the shipping label. Oh, yeah, hot ones and ultra hots. You got to have that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 6.05 pounds. All right, I don't know what's in here. 
Yeah, this is kind of exciting. I don't know what's in here either. <laughs> Let's see. Whoever put a dresser hanger. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. HW is our Hot Wheels clear. 100 pieces. Yeah, I don't want to be racing those. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to flip it. I don't know why they boxed it. This is actually the bottom of the box. I don't know why they do that. 12-inch. Uh, what's HW? It can't be Hot Wheels. 12-inch dress hanger. HW. What's HW? Hot Wheel. Uh, hot Wired. Um, Hokey Wina. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's going to be hangers in here. Maybe I should have made this my thumbnail on question if there were Hot Wheels in here. All right. Uh, how much do you think? <laughs> There's John Mueller. What's up, John? How much do you think the winner's box of Birdco 500 weighed? Uh, well, there was 200. How many cars? 280? Roughly, eh, give or take. I know there was probably a lot of metal and metal and funny cars, so it might make a difference. Usually, roughly about every 10 Hot Wheels equals a pound. So, it was close to 30 pounds. But I think, if I read correctly, 4114 Racing's nephew won. I might be mistaken. So, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, was going to say right around 30 pounds. I said 28. I said there's 280 cars. But I remember, Funny Cars, Metal and Metal is going to make it a little bit heavier. So, yeah, that added a couple of pounds to it. Um. I don't. I, I thought I heard that forty one fourteen racing's nephew won. So hopefully, maybe that worked out great for Aaron. That maybe he just handed them off, and away they went, and didn't have to pay any shipping charges. Because I was starting to get scared for Aaron, just knowing how much shipping costs these days, and the amount of cars coming in get higher and higher. Nope, it was Mike from. Oh, oh no, no, no. I think was it uh, Mr. Co was Coleman James Coleman? I believe it was second place. Is that forty one fourteen? Oh no, Mike Fry's in Chicago. Oh crap! <laughs> I averaged it out fifty grams each, and I think it equal thirty two pounds. Yeah, well, with all the metal and metals in there and the funny cars, that's definitely gonna. Old dude with kids. <laughs> hey, I'm an old dude with kids, just not from Chicago. Well, maybe Chicago, maybe that's not uh, Chicago centrally located. Isn't Calgary, Calgary centrally located in Canada? So maybe it won't be as bad. Hopefully. I just know, um, and I never got confirmation. <laughs> you don't sound that old. Everyone in Chicago sounds old. Uh, I should have asked him when he was in there. 4114 Racing won my very first ever buy-in. Uh, and he beat a dragster, too. I think his winning car was Shoebox. And uh, it beat Dave Akers. Well, Dave actually never even made it to the finals. Something happened with that Firebird funny car. Never even made it to the finals. Hey, Ken Castillo in the house. Kenny is coming hard as a part of... You know, it's like I go on different tangents when I'm on live. It's like I'm talking about one thing and all of a sudden, er, hit the brakes, go over, talk about this. Kenny... The newest member of Red Pill Racing. You want to talk about Shocker? That's a huge free agent signing for Red Pill Racing. Uh, now I don't even remember what I was talking about to begin with. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. What the heck was I saying? I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what is this about dress hangers? <laughs> I'll be in dresses. Nah, I was actually going to send these out to you. I thought you were kind of into them. Could be wrong. How is your channel doing? Mine isn't doing that good anymore. February looks like it will be the worst month on my channel. You know, it's funny. Last year, joining the NWO, new, new, new world order. For life. When you're NWO, you're NWO for life. Um, funny thing is, remember the whole monetization change last February for YouTube. February, my channel for me started taking off really good. Um, last February and March and April, I was almost at 20,000 views each month. Just short. 
but none of it was monetized. And then after that, it got you know, I got into kids getting into the ball season, and this and that, and you know, it gets a little toasty in California, racing in over hundred degree weather outside. Because you know I do all of my racing outside, so a lot of things got pushed back, and it got to the point where August September, yeah, I was only at like three thousand views for the whole month, and for me that's, but then. Uh, Things started picking back up once you got more content out. And right now, my channel is doing, for me, is doing really good. So, I don't know. I think it has something to do with the NASCAR. The NASCAR season starting up for the real-life NASCAR and the YouTube Cup. I attribute a lot of that to that. And that's why I wanted to get the Daytona 500 out ASAPO. And we're going to have the next race coming out to... Uh, not this weekend. I'm hoping the following weekend. Funny. Well, funny always helps. Funny always helps. All right, guys. I say we dig into this and uh, see what's in here. Because I have no clue. You can see I haven't done anything with the tape. It's... You got to take my word for it. All right. I'm going to cut it over here so I don't knock over the camera. Any guesses as to what's in here? I'm trying to think. Two years ago, I was still getting a lot of loose die cast. Uh, could be NASCAR. Getting a lot of NASCAR. Uh, Ribbit. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Drink check. Kryptonite. All right, here we go. Oh, ah, yes, the inevitable packing peanuts. And all I know it is with these right here specifically. Mm, so it doesn't go any higher either. These like kind of for ones. These things stink horribly. All right, what do we... Ooh, looks like we got loose cars, guys. Yep, we got some loose ones in here. Hey, there's Darth Vader right there. Luke. Oh, there's a white wall. Luke, I could be your father. We have to wait for the DNA test to come back. Oh, look at the cycle, dude. Nice. Oh, here's the NASCAR. Uh, let's see. Pontiac, so that should be Johnny Benson in the 10 car there. All right, all right, all right. I'm liking that. I'm digging it. Yeah, it's Hot Wheels. And here's a... Seems like a bigger... Hey, is that another one of those? Nope, that's not. That looks like some kids. Whoa. Monster Jams. Oh, yeah. Hooey. Monster Jamos. All right. Is that it? Man. They really packed this one good. I hope I left the celery. <laughs> Positive comment. Yeah, I think that's it. So, like, two pounds of packing stuff. All right, guys. Yeah. Yep, white wall. The inevitable trade pile. It's Vader time. That's right. All right, what should we do first? This one? Here, I can, now they get the giant box out of the way. Can get a little bit closer. Monster Jams first or Hot Wheels? Again, no um, no invoice or PayPal thing or anything on that. So, not sure what I paid, but it couldn't have been. My guess would be delivered 20, 25 bucks would be about right. All right. So we got BWHW and Angela saying Hot Wheels. So let's do Hot Wheels. Let's do it. We got this tied better than a vasectomy, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out. Sergeant! Yep. Uh, I believe I did see a yellow race bait 308 too. I wasn't going to say anything, but... I don't know 
know why I'm doing this. Killing time, I guess. Let's try to get this uh, vasectomy bag taken care of. Probably because I know I want to put the cards back in here. <laughs> I think I got it. Got it. Woo! Yeah! Ooh, cracked hands. All right. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go again. More? No, we got it now. All right. Let's get the oversized one, uh, which... Oh, nice. The snowplow. Get that hair off of there. Here, let's bring it down again. Red Pill Racing in the house. Red Pill Racing. What's up, Frank? All right, Frank, we, uh, we just opened a box I've had since... 2007, March, I think it was, March 2007, we are opening it up, all right, Kenny, thanks for stopping by, snowplow perfectly intact on this one, too bad it doesn't fit on the six lane raceway. Very cool. What does it say? Ecology Center Recycle. They're recycling before recycling was cool, apparently. All right, matchbox time. We got County RSQ. Oi. Pretty lightweight right here. Uh, yeah, brush fire truck. Another top heavy one. All right, next up. All right, here we go. This is racing champions, I'm sure. Yep. 2000 and what? 2000 even? Yeah. From 2000, Scott Riggs. Definitely got some flea bites on here. Or Scott Riggs. This is Johnny Benson. Scott Riggs took over the 10 after Benson was in it. Next up, what do we got? I'm pulling out. Oh, we got two of them. Well, this thing is about as worthless as... Hmm. Whatever is worthless. Dune buggy. Won't even roll. Well, I guess it does roll, but it's not going to do anything. And this fire truck. Yep. Pretty sad. Fire engine. It's fire engine. 90, 1982. Uh, let's see. Made in Macau. Macau! Next up. Mm, yep. Yeah. Not a good roller. What's going on, Dave Hall? Welcome aboard. Metal on metal. This is heavy. Wheel swap. This thing would be pretty fast. <laughs> Red pill. <laughs> Michael's diecast garage and racing. <laughs> you can see this thing kicking some butt. This would be good. Uh, maybe a good race mountain one. It's front loaded. Maybe it just needs a wheel swap. Some, you know, axle work. Solid wheels. What do you guys think? I could see this doing some damage on Race Mountain. Hopefully not literally on 3D's track, but you can see other vehicles. Maybe even some tungsten here, some tungsten there. I don't know. I'm trying to think outside the box here, guys. But remember, I am not the mod guy. All right, Dave Hall, welcome aboard, man. I don't think we have seen you in here before. Come on in. Let's go through this and see what we got in here in these bags. Two bags. One's full of, a well, not completely full, but a lot of monster jams. All right. Red pill says potential. All right. Next up, we got, oh, man. 
This has got to be a McDonald's or something. Matchbox, yep. Yellow Crown Victoria. Uh, yep, McDonald's. But hey, at least this is when they're giving out cars. Yeah, VWHW knows his black wall era. There it is, right there. I don't know, progressive text. You gotta love it. Next up, mm, man, this thing is light. Metal base. This is high voltage. How many times have I said this was in, uh, I think this was in Birdco 500. Not this one specifically. And I don't know. High voltage. Pretty good roller. For a uh, misfit. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. High voltage, uh, former tag team in the old WCW days. Know what I mean? All right, next up. No, it's a goofy, goofy tow truck from McDonald's. Right? Wasn't this a McDonald's one? Mm. Doesn't say. Look at the rivets on that. High voltage is on your list. You want to mod. All right. Interesting. Uh, because the cat load on the side was blocked up with a solid tempo and it wasn't removed until the very end of the black walls. Well, this thing doesn't have any problems with the focus. All right, that's a late one. Hey, it's Vader. It's Vader time. Made her a little squeaky. And the dark side coming out of them. I don't know. Looks like this would be a fast casting. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. It's because I'm a Hot Wheels guy, but I can't imagine a parent spending like five bucks on this thing and then just eh, give it up. Arthur. There goes Vader. Let's see what else we got, guys. Oh, here's Obi Wan. Oh crap. There, there he is with the old lightsaber. Yep, Obi Wan. Nice. So here's something. Oh, look at. For being a second-hand car, axles are mighty straight. I could see a rivalry week where we have Vader versus Obi-Wan, maybe. Maybe. That'd be kind of fun uh, video to do. Rivalry week. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, too, but. Oh, man, little Johnny. Let this cars out. And Papa stepped on him and basically did this one in. I mean, look at this. Oh, what's the tempo work on that? Come on, what does that say? Mike's. I don't know. Looks like it says Mike's. I don't know. I can't read it. This is the Callaway C7, though. That one time was probably a nice little Hot Wheel for the youngster, but you do not taking care of it. I mean, look at that. That's just this is maybe junkyard worthy. Junkyard worthy for sure, but race worthy. I don't know. All right, we're moving along. All right, hey. 55, this is, uh, is this 
Asphalt Assault. Nope, this is Power Rage. Power Rage. Another one of these plastic body. I don't know, this one rolls pretty good. Keep your eye out for old workhorses from the late 80s, early 90s with gold rims. They were limited production, like the first T-Hunts almost. Nice. Some good info there from BWHW. A good roller there. I mean, for we're talking Misfit. Roller. Next up, there it is. The body's in pretty good shape. Wheels, axles are in good shape. It's a windshield uh, seen better days, but not cracked, at least. Got something floating around in there against the windshield. I don't know if it's paper or whatever it is. It's Yeah. This will be a good one for the King of the Misfits. Good roller. Dump truck, 10 variations. Wow. Race bait, 308. Loved the red one when I was growing up. Black wall edition. Never left it out like this youngster did for um pa pa to step on it. Yeah, I'm. Just, I mean, it's kind of funny though because considering how good it's in really good shape. You know, a couple flea bites here and there. It's got some flea bites, but axles are a little bent, but not that bad. This one has got a flea bite right there. No, I'll check that out. We got nine in here. Can we get to 25? We'll do another free ride. All right. We got the inevitable vet. 60, what, five? Yep, 65. 65 vet. Convertible. Up against the 308. This is almost like the scene from the Fast and Furious. Hey, nice Ferrari. How much does that retail for? <laughs> More than you can afford, pal. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ferrari. Purple Ultra Hots with the lightning bolt when I was little. I remember it being fast. We got eight. Can we get to 25? I know it's late at night, but hey. That is the challenge. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. All right, here's the white wall. And yeah, it's locked. The the back axle anyways. Wheels are not. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Hope you didn't throw up from that. Yeah, we're locked in here pretty good. So this will not win any races. Yeah, 25 will be tough, but hey, we can always shoot for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Copyright. This is an old, eh, 98, not too old. Uh, which one is this? Is Track T? Yep. Track T. All right, we got uh, whatever this thing's called. I forget the name of it, but... Pretty legit. Uh, Moto Blade. Next up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is in pretty decent shape. This is from... Mm, let's see what the copyright says on here. Copyright's 97 on the Mach 1. Mach Daddy. Who's your Mach Daddy? I think this one came out around 2006-ish, 7-ish. Yes, this one, Moto Blade right here. 2014. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. 
you you would know probably more than I do. I don't know anything about this casting. Yeah, I, I'm noticing that. <laughs> This one, yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, this color scheme was like 2014-ish. League of Speed Mock Daddy. Yep. This one you can hear a little squeak, squeak, squeak. All right, we got, hey, we got one more left, and look at this, man. I can't wait to race this guy. He's, you almost could picture this guy racing in a race mountain. Look at those biceps. You guys got tickets to the gun show? What's the name of this? Don't know. Oh, this thing rolls pretty good. Can't wait to race this thing. These things aren't cheap either. These are like five, six bucks. Very cool. All right, let's gangway for the next bag. Let's see, I don't know if I can do a vasectomy on this one. I have to pop this up. The Machines Monster. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to. We're just gonna have to rip it here. As if there were frogs here. All right. Ay, 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 the heck. Ow. Yeah. Thanks for putting this thing in here. That didn't hurt at all. Ow. Wow. That was smart. Hopefully I gave him a negative without even looking at it. <laughs> Does it work? It's in off position. I don't even know what the heck this goes to. Yeah, that screw didn't feel good. Nope. Let's see if there's even a battery in there. Yeah, there's a battery in there, all right. I don't know. I'm just going to throw this away. I don't even know what this is. I know I don't want to get pricked by it again. Not very smart on the seller's part. All right, here we go. This is a McDonald's. Matchbox Ambulance. I could see some potential with this for the mod guys because I bet it's pretty hollow back here. Maybe not necessarily a race mountain, maybe, but pretty good roller as it is. Look at that. Oh, look out. Pretty good roller. Here we can bring it back down now. After I got stabbed by a stinking car. Mock was number 97 to 250. Hot Wheels City 214 or 2014. Next up, we got right up faster the dragsters alley. That's a tie. Sure is. Wait, what is this two-year-old auction win? Yep. From 2007. Bad arrow. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. So you guys joke about the truck series, so I guess we won't even talk about some monster truck uh, racing going on on the Sub 4 RE channel. That'll probably be in the year 3000. This thing rolls pretty good right here, zombie. Very difficult. Yeah, see? And if they come back, then you know the axles are bent. That one didn't at all. That one had just a little bit. There is a little bit of a tweak you can see there. Normally, you get these monster jams on the secondary market. Axles are screwed. Not that one. All right. This thing is uh, dumb. You're going to have to be a zombie to race that. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's going to take. We got eight. Can we get to 25? Yeah, right. I don't know what this is, and I really don't care to know what this is. Let's see. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, is this part of Voltron? <laughs> uh, what's up? Peg Hunt in the house. Yeah, what the hell? This is like a... Is this a Power Rangers or something? What is this? Why would somebody even put this in a lot? Stupid. I mean, not... 
Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any markings on here. It's got to be a part of a Power Ranger or something, I guess. All right, guys. Let's skip that and move on to... Oh, see, here's one. Well, not necessarily. Let me fix the tires on this one. That one's fixed. Boys will be boys. All right. Let's see. Monster Mutt. Dalmatian. Seems to roll fairly good. Yeah, a little bit of a bend. You can see it right. Where to go? Yeah, you can see it. Team Peggy. Oh uh, yeah! Oh yeah! Ruff. War Pig in the house. What's up, War Pig? Hey, we got to ten. Hey, here's a metal. Metal based, uh, but these are from all counts. If you watch Faster the Dragster, I believe these are actually slower. Maybe when the Monster Truck Monster Jam series starts in uh, yeah, a little bit of a squeak squeak on that too. The back axle bend a little bit on Blue Thunder. Maybe though, yeah, it's, yeah this isn't going to win anything. Maybe when uh, the Monster Truck Series starts on the Sub 4 RA channel in the year 3000. Get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I remember that Bigfoot one. Those are pretty sweet. Or Pig, oink, oink. Oink, where's, uh, where's Glow Pig? <laughs> uh, this one is... Uh, Jurassic Jurassic Attack. Yeah. It's pretty cool to see it still has all the pointers. All the horns intact. Not even bent. So that's definitely good. Axles. This one maybe a, just a hair tweaked. Let's see. Not really. Not too bad. Yeah. Bam. Bam. I really need I need this to be my full-time job. Even a part-time job. So much stuff I want to do and don't have the time to do. Uh no, I have not. I haven't forgotten about it. Have not forgotten about it. Mike Carroll also going to be making his debut in the YouTube Cup. I kind of remember that though. Uh what time period was that? Was that in the mid to late 80s? This one's kind of Weird. Uh, no. Plastic base seems really cheap on this thing. All right. War Pig is in route two. Full size or mini monster truck racing. <laughs> uh, well. Full size or mini? Well, you mean like these mini or the 124 scale monster trucks? I don't know. This thing pulls pretty good too. All right. And we got a hey, race patrol. That's cool. I could use this actually for once. These stupid helicopter things. This could be useful. Race patrol. Not to be confused with Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. They'll be there on the double. So much for the... I really need a new phone. 
race patrol. I can actually use this thing for props. All right, next up, what the heck is this? It's like some just it doesn't even roll. Asbro. Uh, Tommy? Tommy Two Tone? Eight, six, seven. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll probably get a copyright strike. Tommy Made in Vietnam. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can still put a transformer together. I don't know if I'm supposed to go that far back, though. Is this like a legit transformer? Or is this a... Uh... No, it's a transformer. Be there on the double. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Red Pill <laughs> knows the jingle to that, too. Hmm. Don't know if this is... Try not to break it. Because if it's worth money, I want to know. One-step series, they suck. Yeah, I could tell. This thing is garbage. One-step series? Yeah, this thing shouts garbage, sorry to say. I'm sure if that's supposed to be like that, there's something that goes in there. Thing doesn't even roll though. I mean, already not legit. Alright, guys, let's keep moving on. Oh, it's nice. I've seen this color before. This is a matchbox. Right. Quarry King. I don't know. I'll have to check that one out. Quarry King. It's pretty cool. Oh, that rolled pretty good. Better than I thought. All right, guys. Let's see. We got Craven. Craven? What is this? This is... Uh, no name. Bring it down again. There we go. Ricky Craven? Looks like something from the Thundercats. Hmm. Spider-Man Craven? I don't know. Craven more... Uh, I don't know. Rolls pretty good, though. I think we got some pretty decent rollers in here. Four Misfit Curse. We got 10. Can we get 15 more? Get on the horn. Get on the horn with Aunt Gertrude. Have her tell her to come on the YouTube.com under Sub 4A live feed and see if she can get on the horn with. Horn? <laughs> see if she can get on the horn with Cousin Luke and Cousin Butch and get them in here too. See if we can get to 25. We'll give away another free ride for the, you know, the quarter mile. Oh, great. Captain America, huh? Mm-hmm. Looks like this has got one of those things that would probably shoot the vehicle out. Let's see, is there a spring or something or a spring? Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whoa, hello. Oh, pretty good. All right, guys, next up, this is the inevitable ribbit. Uh, torque twister. Can you hear a little bit of rusty gears in there? Uh, 
All right, now I got that power wagon thing. Yeah, this will not win any races. He'll never be crowned king of the misfits. Dodge power wagon. Of course, with these tires, they're not going to win anything anyways. Oh, we lost two people. We need 17 now. Here's a... Um, what you call it? That one you put your Lego guy on. And Joey Ride. What the heck is it called? Uh, let's go. Oh, pretty good. I don't think I've ever actually raced one of these before. They don't fit. Well, that's just right up Mattel's alley. I don't have any handy. 2014 and 15 releases. That makes kind of sense, I guess, since... Drink check. Bam! Kryptonite. That makes sense because... I bought this in 2017. Mommy probably let Junior play with these for a couple years and then bye con Dios. Next up. Hey, this qualifies for Race Mountain. It's been customized. It says custom cars only. Look at the custom detailing artwork on this. Ooh, yeah, that's going to win. Come on, vet. You can do it. 97 vet. Yep. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ain't going to win anything. But technically, I guess it qualifies for King of the Mountain. It is. It's got a number 21, it looks like. That one's kind of hard to see. Ah, oh, yeah, definitely, Peg. No doubt about it. Next up, let's dig in here and see what we got. Oh, cool. Looks like we have another one of these Transformer thingamajiggers. Yep, this guy opens up too. Look at this. Uh, something to press on here or what? Or is that all it does? It's got to do more than that. Huh. Yeah, it's got to do more than that. These are horrible. Poor kids never get to play with real Transformers from the 80s. Front end kind of reminds me of a Bugatti. Yeah, there's no metal involved in here. This is plastic butterfly open from the rear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Mike. Bam! Now it's at least a little bit cooler. There we go. Uh, you look for the nearest McDonald's that way. Huh. All right. Has to be worth two mil at least. All right, let's put him like that, and then something like this. Back like that, and then call it a day. Oops, that didn't sound good. Yeah, something like that. Transformer collector. So these are actually legit transformers from current times. You have a identifying marker on them, if that helps any, which it's not going to with the focus, guaranteed. On the left side there, it's 41741, and on the right side, it's the pound symbol A7770. Made of cheap, enough plastic to qualify. It's from 2000. So this isn't even a, a McDonald's thing, huh? This is a legit, go out and buy it at Target, Walmart, 
Transformer. Yeesh. Wow, both of these are? Man. Oops, sorry guys. Did it again. Kind of like Britney Spears. Alright. Now we're down to seven. I guess Aunt Gertrude isn't available. Alright, we got Thrasher, guys. Now let's, well, we gotta go back up a little bit. Now we got the monster trucks again. Monster jams. What was that? One step transformers like me for young kids. All right. Well, that start that makes more sense. This thing rolls pretty straight. I said that and it does that. Let's see, plastic base. I think we only had one. I had metal base, right? Plastic. Plastic. Blue Thunder was the only one so far that's got the metal base. Rest in peace. Atlanta Thrashers. I didn't even realize they were gone until, what was it, last night or whatever. All right. Hey. Let's play not once, but twice. All right. First ever live Demolition Derby. You guys ready? One. Let's back it up a little bit. Give them some room. Give them some room. Let's put the stupid, uh, that thing that stabbed me over there. All right, here we go. Get the monster jams up a little bit. Oh man, this thing is El Squeako. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Wow, El Squeako. Turn the other one around. All right, let's try it again. El Squeako here. Uh, smooth sailing right here. Smooth as a other side of the pillow. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Nothing there. Impromptu making even as a hockey team these days. They're called the Making Bacons. Making me. <laughs> yeah, we'll go there. All right, here we go. Try it again. One, two, three. Oh, we're at a standstill here, guys, in this impromptu demolition derby. Woo. Winner gets to go on and face the car that Junior couldn't take care of. Impromptu Demolition Derby. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Look at this. Not even a flea bite. Not even a flea bite, guys. Focus on Hot Wheels. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh! All right. Since we're getting nobody to flip, this will be the marker right here, the Box cutter. All right. So when they hit, hopefully right around this middle part, hopefully if this car is on this side or that car is on that side, they'll advance to face the car that Junior couldn't take care of and let um pa pa step all over it and screw it all up. <laughs> Are those empty? No! I mean, the baseball team once called the Macon Whoopies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well being in Modesto we have a advanced single A team called the Modesto Nuts yeah you gotta hear me at one of their games Channing alright here we go one two three oh El Squeako moves on to face the car that Junior couldn't take care of Let's see what happens here, guys. Who do you like in this demo? Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to have to go with the car that Junior couldn't take care of. Savannah Banana. <laughs> Modesto Nuts. All right, here we go. See what happens. Who you guys like? The car that Junior couldn't take care of? Or El Squeako. Why is he called El Squeako? Well, just listen. Squeak, 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 squeak. All right, here we go. We got Green Machine. All right, this is an impromptu demolition derby. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, Green Machine. Here we go. Green Machine. Green Machine versus... 
the blue squeaky instead of the blue meanie. ECW, ECW. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh, we got him up off the table. <laughs> Not a mint Callaway by any means. Here we go. ECW. Here we go. The green machine and the blue squeaky. Oh, man. All right. We're knotted at three. So the next car, green squeaky on this side of the box cutter, blue squeaky or blue and green meanie. <laughs> it's near end to collision there. Rear end. Yeah, but, you know, it's whatever. All right. Here we go. One, two. All right. We'll do rear end. Let's see what happens. El Squeako is the people's champ. All right. Here we go. Deciding one right here. And then uh, whoever takes this will go on to face uh, we still got a couple cars left by the way. We'll take on Welcome to the Gun Show. Oh crap, I'm down to 15%. I won, just won an FTE Impala stock. I think I have some of those somewhere. Or one of those somewhere. Alright, here we go. One, two, three... Oh, and it's the car that Junior couldn't take care of advancing. He'll go on to face the gun show. Oh, man, I hope he just runs right over him. Woo. Sorry, Miller, we're not doing rear end. We're just going to do front end because it looks cooler. Rear end kind of looks weird. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, crap. <laughs> Strike one. That's like a foul tip. My name is Jeff. All right, here we go. Or I could just see this happening. Yeah, right over there and right into my Mountain Dew. Knock it over. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, knocked him over. Hey, is this an Avenger? I just noticed it right now. Is this uh, uh, Nick Fury, Fury or um, somebody? El Reco, you saw it here. Uh, wait, nope. Here we go. Dude. All right, Green Machine getting taken away. Who's up next? Hawkeye. All right, Hawkeye. Thanks, guys. Not familiar. Nick Furry, Furry. You look like a Nick. All right, let's see. Moto Blade. Moto Blade. <laughs> impromptu demo derby on the sub 4 RA channel here we go 3 2 1 go oh moto blade almost almost took out hawkeye probably shouldn't be doing that to hawkeye because I plan on racing that but you know what kind of fun alright here we go Maybe we ought to switch sides after each one. There we go. It's minute. What time is it? It's midnight. So that means it's ten o'clock here. Ten o seven. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh no! He's still in it. They're both still in it. They're both still in it. <laughs> All right. Third and deciding. Third and deciding one here. Will Hawkeye advance? Three, two, one. Oh, that was nice. I don't know if you guys saw that Hawkeye up in the air, off the table, facing straight up. Uh, he wins. He advances. Let's see, what else have we got in here? Uh, whoa, what is this thing? This has got to be a McDonald's car. Yep, manufacturing for McDonald's, whatever this thing is. All right, we got a new contender here. Whatever this guy is, I can see it going over him again. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no, double El Reco. Out for the count. Oh, man, too bad the... Corvette wasn't placed a little bit closer. Would have kept 
Hawkeye from going into the El Reco status. That's too bad. That's unfortunate. Why does this thing have three rivets? Is that really necessary? All right. All right. Comment down below if you want to see another demolition derby. Oh, battery. Oh, check this out, guys. Twin Mill versus Robin pullback edition. Woohoo! Let's crank them up. Here we go. Oh, damn. Ski right too. That was bad. Looked like Robin played chicken and lost. Let's try it again. The anti custom three riveter. Let's try it again. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, Robin's scared. Forget about it. Quick shave real quick. Do a tutorial on how to shave with a pullback. All right, next up. Hey, tool again. For those El Recos, it's the only thing you need, tool again. Oh, yeah, this is a Shadow Jet or... Oh, look out. Shadow Jet, what's it called? Jet Threat 3.0, whatever. Uh, yeah, Jet Threat 3.0. Should do a Demolition Derby. Be pretty cool. What do we got in here? Uh, we got this. I have no clue what this is for. And then last but not least, we got... Plastic base grave digger. This thing has seen better champ, uh, better champs, better days. Four time. Yeah, that's the red pill. Whatever it is is magnetized. I don't think I want to find out. Low battery. What are we at? Eight percent. All right, we got a couple more minutes. Let's try. Uh, I really want to do it with these. Monster truck football. <laughs> All right. Not sure what I paid with this lot. Probably not a whole lot. We ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven monster jams and uh, various other cars. Uh, let's see. Highlight in this would probably be for me definitely a race bait 308. For sure. Um, ben, Obi Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, always good pickups. Uh, this guy, the Hawkeye, very cool. Uh, other than that, Snowplow Edition, Byway Man, pretty cool. Kind of interested in racing a couple of these other ones. This will go to Race Mountain. Be ready, Adriel. <laughs> Not too concerned about that car. Uh, this other one right here, the high voltage one, kind of cool. Not sure what it paid, but uh, they get some monster gems out of it. They go for probably a good like two, two bucks loose, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen squirrel. Yeah, so I probably didn't pay. Knowing me, I probably didn't pay with shipping more than 20 bucks for this. So I was calculating everything. Probably got it for maybe the price you'd pay for these loose at the most. And then basically ever this was basically for free. But that's what it is right there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We are down at 5% on the cellular pwn. That's that right there. And then we got... Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do the 48 car case. Open it up. I don't know if there, remember if there's 48 cars in here or not. I looked at it, maybe skimmed through it once when I first got it. Probably just to make sure I didn't get screwed over or something like that. We're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, that would be tomorrow, meaning Tuesday, February 26th. It's 10 months till Christmas today, guys. So we'll do this tomorrow, February 26th. 
at about 1.20 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, always fun. Always a good time. We'll see if we can get 25 tomorrow and do one more free ride into the February King of the Quarter Mile. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, thanks for stopping in. Been fun as always, and we'll see you.